have a kiss? <laughs> yeah, oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> now? <laughs> Love Island. <laughs> Love Island are planning on mixing it up next series and have decided to recruit one unconventional beauty. <laughs> <laughs> AKA you. <laughs> to add to their typical lineup. To be let off the island, you must win the show. <laughs> James the Rose? You will arrive a week into the show when the babes and the hunks are already coupled up. So you must break up a couple to survive. Right. You have to take part in all the saucy activities. You can't just hide in a bush and wait till the series is over. <laughs> so, Liz, do you watch Love Island? Uh, I am aware of the existence of the programme The Love Island. <laughs> What happens so after a week, a text goes round. Yeah. There's a new guy coming into the villa. Now, normally, this person would come in in just swimwear. <laughs> what are you thinking? <laughs> what would you think of your opening kind of a, a outfit? Well, I think, you know, I want to set a tone. Yeah. And I don't want to be dishonest. There's no point in me trying to be someone I'm not. Yes. So I'm going to go full scuba. <laughs> Us yeah. in, pop it out, let's oh, fuck. Can I just. <laughs> when you say pop it out. Uh, oh, sorry. I mean the, uh, the penis in my mouth. <laughs> It's a penis snorkel. Yeah, yeah, it's a dog snorkel. I actually got it on a really great stag do that ended up in a phone party. Anyway. <laughs> so, and, are and you going to play. Is, is your plan you're going to play this? As yourself, you think rather than fight them on their terms. Yeah, because I do know enough about Love Island to know that everyone is sort of very buff and cool. So there's no point in me really trying to play that game. So I'm going to be like the sort of like the quirky, weird one. Yeah. Like who's sort of the nation sweetheart one. Mm -hmm. Like you know, somebody who goes on a reality show and is sort of so off kilter. And yeah, yeah, yeah. You cover your ears for a second when he went on Bake Off. <laughs> 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 My ears are burning. <laughs> Much like your cake. Yeah. <laughs> so let, let me give you a scenario, right? Yeah. You have won one of the challenges, yes. right? And from that, you personally, yeah. this is your chance to shine, get to organise a themed night in the villa. Yeah. Okay, what's the theme gonna be? Books. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get the nation reading. <laughs> Now they want you to come up with your own sexy game that everyone's got to play, like, you know, blindfolded kissing or whatever. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be called Suck My Dickens. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Hypothetical, where Nish has called a fellow islander for a chat in an attempt to woo her, as Nish tries to win Love Island. During the break, we've set it up. What's your name, female contestant on Love Island? James. <laughs> So you've called James for chat, Nish. Let's see how it plays out. Uh, hey, James. Hey, Nish. I'm really glad you pulled me to one side. <laughs> <laughs> Want to have a kiss? <laughs> yeah, I'll... I'll wait <laughs> now? <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest with you, I hadn't anticipated you saying yes to that question. <laughs> I would say kissing would help win the show. It really does help with the voting. And BJ's really go down well. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what do you like doing, James? Oh, you know, I love reading books. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> no one on this island ever wants to talk about that sort of stuff. <laughs> oh, man, I love books! I've been really bored talking to all these goddamn pig shits. Oh. <laughs> Do you mean it? You're not just trying to impress me. No, way! I'm not trying to impress you. I hate everybody here. <laughs> oh, Nish, I'm so glad to hear you say that. They're all Tell walking me. around with their bulging dicks. <laughs> <laughs> and their big, whatever that muscle is, the tip muscle. The pack. Oh. The pack. The pack. <laughs> you were saying you liked books. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Not that I want to cut you off about the big tit muscle. <laughs> I feel like we skipped ahead a few <laughs> chapters. <laughs> what, uh, what's your current uh, relationship status? <laughs> oh, you know Enrique? Well, I've been seeing him for a while until you 
scoop it out of the sea with your cock snorkel. <laughs> <laughs> and how's your current feeling about Enrique, relationship and romantic wise? Oh, he's, he's good. <laughs> Dish! Can that be sexier than that, <laughs> mate? It's like a work appraisal. <laughs> James, would you like to deliver your verdict? Absolutely, thank you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well? Hold on, let me hit a... You confident, Nish? It's gone pretty well. Once I, once I hit the pose... <laughs> <laughs> looks like a beanbag on a beanbag. <laughs> yeah. Well? I've had a lovely time on this island and my, my heart's been a bit torn lately. I think that's no secret to anyone. <laughs> but one guy, it's really tickled my fancy. <laughs> There's something about him, I don't know if it's his politics is so refreshingly left-leaning or... <laughs> if it's just the way he smiles and talks about tit muscles. <laughs> but I've got to say, my heart well and truly belongs to Enrique. <laughs>